Hello everybody and welcome back after the mid-semester break. Uh, how was your break? I'm imagining you've been on wild adventures um, across the whole world. I spent myself at least two days on this side of the apartment and then I spent a really interesting relaxing three days just for a change on this side of the apartment. Um, and then in between I ate as much sugar as I possibly could and had to have two days in bed because I pretty much went into a sugar coma. So that's been good. Um, yeah, not much else to report really, not much changing. So back to it then with the human factor stuff. Um, we had talked a lot about human information processing and we've given you this model of how it works. Um, what I wanna talk about in the next few um, modules really is how we learn to, as humans, survive, if you will, or cope with the fact that we have such limited um, conscious information processing capacity. Um, we, um, the way we work, the way we process information, um, and the way we can do things very cleverly, and sometimes the way things go a bit wrong, often comes down to the limits of our information processing capacity. So I want to talk about some of those effects um, and sort of visit this concept of workload and talk a little bit more formally about human error before we move on to the next unit about really looking for strategies of how we develop expertise and skill and, and what that really means. So stick with us um, and yeah, more riveting stories of my adventures around the apartment to follow.